Hey guys, this is a prelims focus news discussion of 24th and 25th of November guys. So let's see the very first news. First news is about safe city plan for women and uh, government has recently basically planned uh, so that they are formulating a comprehensive safe city plans for women in especially eight metropolitan cities. Those are Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Bengaluru and Lucknow and Hyderabad right so under the home ministry basically and steering committee has recently been constituted which has been ascent, uh, attended by the municipal commissioner police commissioner senior uh, state uh, government officials as well as civil society representatives of all these eight metropolitan cities under which they have decided that how to make these metro a metropolitan cities areas safe for women because see if metropolitan cities are not safe for women uh, that would not set a good precedent for other small states uh, I mean uh, uh, cities and towns right so also uh, the image of India uh, is not good uh, in terms of safety for women so that's why you know the government has taken this initiative and also various other initiatives has also been taken for the women's safety like Himmat app she teams then Hauke mobile app then Bharosa program by Hyderabad police and etc many more are running but uh, this is one of the uh, again on other steps by the our you know home ministry so that uh, the cities can be made safe for women to inhabit in that place right and not not only to inhabit but to work freely also right but the article was telling that this is not the only thing I mean which will you know uh, do away with all the tensions that is being faced by the women uh, of present day society but the main major main need is that independent analysis and feedback system must be institutionalized so as to access the perception of women on ground regarding their safety issues and emphasize on targeted intervention by police and civil administration also now see this feedback and independent analysis must be done by the women who are facing these type of problems or situation at a very ground level and at the same time police and ad uh, civil administration must do the targeted in intervention so that you know effective uh, result could be obtained uh, by the uh, police and administration of the city right next news is about national commission for backward class the news was in uh, it was in news because union government has recently reintroduced the bill in lok sabha under which government wants to make uh, give this commi national commission for backward class a constitutional status so earlier also it was passed by lok sabha but uh, rajya sabha has you know amended the clause 3 of it so many changes were brought the changes were like uh, and earlier the amend in an amendment it was you know earlier it was three member commission but now it has been it will be changed to five member under which uh, people from minority status will also be represented and all my five members should necessarily be from uh, you know backward obc classes and uh, and also women will also be getting represented uh, representation on that five member commission and also I mean this is the first reason and other amendments sought to you know protect the federal structure also by giving state a particular say in recommendations of the OBCs means whatever the OBC category the state government want to you know bring it to I mean give that OBC category you know reservation in central list so if state government will tell then the central government will agree to what state government has said to the central government right so means the earlier this power was not given to state government but now state government will also have a particular say in the recommendation of the list uh, in central list right now if you want to read more about ncbc that is national commission backward class you can read about it from here next news about umang app guys and it it is government's new all-in-one application see under this umang app other applications of government will be there like aadhar linkage pan card any inquiry or you know uh, your provident fund account number means whatever the uh, there's a like Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana NCRT CBSE and other different kind of you know applications whatever there are applications belonging to central government so those op all applications will be available in this Umang app so it is basically an initiative to promote digital India program and the full form of this Umang app is unified mobile application for new age governance all right and this application is being developed by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and National E-Government uh, Division in order to drive the mobile governance in India. 
So this was all about this Umang app, guys. Next news is about China has forged a strategic ties with Djibouti. Now, where is Djibouti, guys? See, it, this is Africa, right? And this is the Horn of Africa. Now, magnifying this uh, view, Horn of Africa, this part is called Djibouti. All right. And earlier also, there was a military base camp of US here, which was called Camp Limonian. But recently, yeah, uh, previous year, we have uh, learned that China has also, you know, partnered with Djibouti and uh, opened a military camp, a new military camp, which is very near to this uh, military camp of US. Now, uh, China is telling that we have opened this military camp just so as to, you know, uh, avail the peacekeeping operations in a very lucid and in a very fast manner. And also any, if in future, any humanitarian kind of aid is being required by Africa or Western Asia, then China could intervene on that and China could, you know, provide the humanitarian aid to those countries. But now, see, this is being proposition which is being kept by China, but uh, you are, you know, intelligent enough you know that whatever is been going on around the world is all geopolitics and china is raising right and china want to give you know direct challenge to us and that's why china has you know opened this camp Lemonel. i mean uh, new uh, its military base near camp Lemonel. now next news is about india forest amendment ordinance what what is this ordinance all about this ordinance about see earlier under the forest ordinance act uh, i mean earlier there was the bamboo was considered as tree if the bamboo is you know grown in for a non-forested area and and to cut that bamboo tree there i mean uh, people you know commercial people has to take permission from government right, right. now since from now onwards uh, bamboo will not be considered any more tree so uh, if you know uh, any i mean people want to use it for their commercial purpose they can use it very freely now this is the main theme of the this ordinance now other objectives are also there farmers income will increase all right and green cover of uh, our country will increase uh, in article it is being said that the agricultural income for tribals of especially from northeastern and central india will increase because uh, tribal from those region are you know cultivating this bamboo tree very much so they can commercialize this bamboo tree without you know uh, without government more of governmental regulations now the thing what i want to you know specify here is only bamboo those bamboo trees are exempt which are grown in non-forested area right those bamboo trees which are grown in forested area all right so those will be considered as trees only but non-forested area say for example the any you know plot nearby yours and mine uh, house if you know some farmers coming and you know growing the this uh, tree bamboo tree then that will be considered as non that is will not be considered as tree right so that's what i want to make clear to you next is about national pharmaceutical pricing authority this was news because they have capped 51 essential formulation of drugs which are related to cancer uh, heart conditions and skin problems now what is the main thing for us is to read about national pharmaceutical pricing authority what it actually is so it basically you know ad uh, advises the central government on any policy changes of drug policy and also it gives assistance to the central government for the enforcement of this drug uh, price control order 2013 it also deals with other all the other legal matters uh, all right uh, which are related to drugs uh, uh, drug reduction in india and all and few other points are also written if you at all want to read you can go through it next uh, news is about national foundation for communal harmony now this was a news because they have uh, recently observed the communal harmony campaign for fundraising on november 19 to november 25 now what is it it is basically an autonomous organization under the ministry of home affairs which has uh, which under which there is a new project called project assist whose aim is to you know provide financial assistance to those children which are orphaned or destitute in communal caste ethnic or terrorist violence so this is uh, the good thing which is being you know uh, done by this national foundation for communal harmony now next news is very important news and it's about you know that is you need one only now it is an application which is being made by the state uh, state bank of india which is the country's largest public central bank and under from this application you know the state bank of india wants to offer all kind of financial and lifestyle products to the customers now 
For this, they have partnered with Amazon, Ola, Flipkart, uh, Yatra, Swiggy, and Baiju's. And uh, it is being said that this process, uh, this portal is designed uh, uh, to offer co maximum customer convenience and products being offered by the SBI using artificial intelligence, predictive analysis, as well as machine uh, learning, which is now being done by the Google, right? So the same will be up done by this application also. And uh, yeah. Uh, it can be accessed uh, through both android and ios platform so this is uh, the good news for it next news is uh exercise which is called defense of andaman and nicobar island exercise now from this name you have you know very uh you can uh, get that what they actually mean right now few main points are there that it is uh the exercise is being conducted under the aegis of andaman and nicobar command which is india's only operational tri service command right listen india's only operational tri service command and the main objective of this exercise is to practice and uh, and validate the procedures and release of the you know command forces which is aimed to defending the andaman nicobar island just because of the reason that the location of andaman and nicobar island of india is very strategic if you see the nearby Andaman and Nicobar, it is Malakoff Strait, which is considered as one of the highest, you know, trade route. Uh, I mean, the, the from that route, a huge number of trade is, uh, you know, uh, taking place, right? And beside that route only, there's uh, 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 there's Andaman and Nicobar. So strategically, that place is becoming very important. So you know, it is the need of of Indian government also. They must give, you know, a uh, uh, total security proof structure to that island right so that's why this uh, has been organized now next news is about a new gecko species which has been recently found in eastern ghat of uh, northern andhra pradesh now just remember this place eastern ghat of northern andhra pradesh i'm just telling you to remember this place because in 2016 a uh, question has been came that uh, recently this species have been found banana species a new banana species has been found from four areas were given and you have to you know correct the one area so that's why i'm telling that just really go through these all uh, questions right and this uh, reptile which is endemic to the area was identified as different species after a five years species i mean earlier also it was found but uh, they were considering it to be different species but after five years of study they are considered that no it is a new species of gecko which has been named after sushil kumar datta who was a hypatologist from odisha right and uh, guys this is all about it and if you are tolerate to uh, learn more about this species you can read it from the very last point guys and it is nocturnal yeah and it lives in rocks right so these are few of the things which i have already discussed now next news about merchandise exports from india scheme now government has doubled the incentives for the exporters of garments now i'm just telling that they have only exporter uh, you know double the incentives of garment uh, exporters because of the reason that the garment exporters from countries like vietnam and uh, bangladesh are giving us very much of uh, competition right so that's why government has thought that to make india a, a hub of you know export hub uh, to promote make in india uh, initiative so we have they have to you know give incentives to this uh, exporters of garments right now what is this uh, merchandise export of uh, from india scheme guys so it is basically one of the two schemes which is being introduced by foreign trade policy of india 2015 to 2020 under which is uh, about a part of exports from india scheme now under this program excess exporters are given i mean their incentives are more so basically government will give them a duty exemption scripts now what duty exemption scripts is say for example you are a garment uh, exporter right now so, since government was giving you, you know, on export of 1 lakh rupees of garments say for example government is giving you a script of 10,000 rupees earlier now and from now onwards they will give you a script of 20,000 and uh, the, at the time when you are going to government to pay your duties uh, which you know uh, every company has to pay duty to the government so that time you can show those scripts that okay we have you know we have got the scripts of 220,000 from the government so whatever the duty we have to pay you you can you know deduct that money from this rupees uh, this uh, script which I was which was given by you during our export uh, right so I mean that's why their uh, you know uh, their money will be get, uh, getting reduced right so this was all about merchandise exports from India scheme guys uh, 
uh, we'll meet in next class guys so this is all about uh, today's uh, news uh, thank you for listening and one more thing guys those uh, i've already uploaded uh, optional classes for geography in an academy platform so if you haven't up, uh, you know uh, learned about it so once you can visit that an academy platform you will get the geography optional classes all right i'm putting the link in the description below you can uh, read and go about it right so we'll meet in next class guys bye bye take care